Hi, my name is Keith Scholes, and I'm Director of Product Strategy for Enterprise One. Over the last four months, we've delivered several new mobile applications, including purchase order approvals, requisition self-service approvals, sales inquiry, and expense management. All are browser-based applications that run on Android, Apple iOS, and BlackBerry devices, and are available for applications release 9.0 and 9.1. Today, I'm going to show mobile expense management, which is the most recent mobile application. Now, I'm using a Safari browser for demo purposes, but you'll find that the app certainly looks a lot better on your personal device, such as an iPhone. In this demo, I'm going to play the part of a manager who has employees that travel as part of their job. Now, we're looking at the mobile expense management homepage, where I can take several actions here. I can add expense reports. I can approve expense reports. I can search on expense reports. And I also have this chart that gives me a nice, quick way of looking at the status of all reports that are, in my, that are for my department. So I can see which are at the employee status, which are in audit status, or in approver status, or reimbursement. Now I can see that there are several here that are waiting for my approval. So I can actually just click on this chart, and that's going to take me to the list of reports that are, that are waiting for me to take action on those. And I have a small list. I have three reports. You can simply just tap on the first one for Cliff Miller, and it will show me the details. Now here in the top, you kind of think of this as my report header, and then I have all my detail expenses that are listed down. Now, if I look at this, I can see that right away I've got some exceptions in this report. This is all based on the policy that is defined within expense management. So if I want to see more, say, on car rental, which has an exception called allowance amount exceeded, I just click on the caret, and I can see the additional information that was captured for that expense for that receipt. Very simple and easy to, to, to take a look at. Now, I can also, from, from here, I can say, well, there's a lot of allowance, uh, uh, allowance amounts exceeded. Maybe I want to reject this report. I can simply just tap on the Reject button. I get my Reject form, or I can say, I need um, you to explain, uh, explain those uh, exceptions. So I can send a message back to the submitter. I just hit Confirm. And what happens now is Workflow takes that expense report, sends it back to the submitter and says, please explain your exceptions. Now, the other thing Workflow did is it said, I'll, I'll serve you up the next expense report that's waiting for uh, you to take action. So I see now I have a sales meeting from uh, Lee Matsumoto. And I look at this, and there's no exceptions. Uh, there, it's a business, there was a business meeting, car rental meals. I know all about this. So I can say, well, I'll just approve it. So I tap on Approve. I get an approval confirmation form to prevent any uh, mistakes if I accidentally hit approve or reject. Uh, so yes, I want to confirm that. So I'll approve. Workflow will do the same thing now. It sent that expense report on to the next status, which may be audit or maybe reimbursement. Uh, and then it served me up the next expense report. Now I won't continue on with these now. Uh, I will, uh, I'll get back to these later. So let me just click tap on home, which will take me back to my home page. Now, you can see that my chart changed. I have a larger green portion because I, I uh, approved uh, one of those reports, so now I have more expense reports that are waiting reimbursement. And I've got a larger blue portion, which are statuses or reports at my employee status because I, sent, I rejected one and sent it back. So this is all real-time information that, uh, that, I can re that reacts to the actions that I take. Now, um, next I am going to add a new expense report. So let's say I've been out on a, on a, on a sales call and, uh, and I have some expenses and I want to add my own expense report. So I'll click on Add. It takes me to this page that shows any of my existing expense reports. Now the one I am going to add is actually a different uh, a, a, a different uh, meeting than I than I had already entered one for here, so I'm going to add a brand new one. And 
and I'll call this uh, sales call and oops, sales call if I spell that correctly. And this was a travel uh, expense. And my date was uh, April, we'll say it was April 9th. Um, select that date. And then I can choose from um, adding cash receipt or I can see what's out there in the queue that I've come back from my credit card. So I'll click on Add Credit Card Expense. See what we have out here. I see we have a several. Um, now I know that for this uh, trip, I um, used Hertz for my car rental and I had lunch at Jimmy's Diner because everybody knows Jimmy's Diner has awesome burgers. So it loads in. Uh, a lot of information that was captured on an expense for me, so it knows this is a car rental, has the date. Uh, I'll put in the location. I, this was in Denver, and, of course, I paid with my corporate card, and I'm going to bill my own business unit, and it brought in the amounts for me as well. So I can just click on Save. Now it says that uh, this car rental amount is above the, the limit, so it gives me a warning. It's a, it's so I know what's going to happen now. This is going to go into audit. That's okay. I'll tap on save again. And I come up with my next uh, expense, which was Jimmy's Diner. And again, this was in Denver as well. And it defaulted. Uh, it knows since I, I entered in my own business unit for the last expense, it's probably going to be my own business unit for this one as well. So it loaded all that information, nothing else for me to, to capture. So I tap on save. Now I'm back to um, my uh, expense report entry form, and I can see that I've added my two receipts. Now at this point, I could add some cash receipts if I wanted by clicking on Add. Uh, I could submit the report by clicking on Submit, or if I knew that there was a big problem with this, I can just delete and start over as well. For now, I'll save, and we'll go back to uh, my home page and uh, where I started from. Now, I think what you can see is that we've done a great job in keeping these mobile applications easy to use with simple, intuitive navigation. Your users will be more productive and will appreciate the ability to perform key business tasks while they're on the go. Now, if you need more information, please go to oracle.com and look for J.D. Edwards Enterprise One mobile applications. Thank you.